presented by Funky Sheet. We're still trying to get Pikachu up to level 38, so we'll leave him out. Now what is over here? Oh, there's another couple of trainers. Okay, I would have missed them. Have you heard of the legendary Pokemon? Yes. Short conversation, that. Right, okay, he's got one Pokemon, and it's a Farfetch'd. You're not legendary Farfetch'd. Hopefully, I can get a 100 KO with this Thundershot. Nope. Ah. This next one will do it anyway. There he goes. Critical hit as well. Ah, Pikachu. Wanting to be level 38. Why? Why'd I lose? Probably because you've only got one Pokemon, to be honest. We ride out here because there's more room. Okay, that makes sense, I suppose. It's not really a very good battle opening comment thing, is it? Really, it doesn't strike fear into the hearts of men. Aha, uh -huh. doesn't affect him. There you go, you see, you're not very clever, are you? Okay, that's a coughing down, and we'll see what he has for us next. It's a muff. Okay, if you ever want to have a coughing and a grimer, this is a slight uh, improvement on that. It's not going to be enough, though, is it? No, it's not. Oh, there was 39 for Haunter. Good. Ah, wipe out, he says. But okay, there's just a bit of land there. A couple of trainers over here. What about you? I think there might be an item over there. Okay, that's nice. Over there to the right by that sign, if I remember rightly. Right, yeah, you've got two Pokemon. Pidgeotto. I could have had one of those. Before I realised that Pidgey was actually kind of useless. But I will have to get him out of the box at some point to uh, fly back to Pallet Town. Yeah, there we go. Now Pikachu's level 38 what we want. Oh, I've made him sad. Right, this next guy, I'm guessing, is going to have some more bird Pokemon, because he looks like he's got the same sort of sprite as this guy down here, so I'll put Gravel out. Have you taught your bird Pokemon how to fly? No, I haven't, because my bird Pokemon is in a box. My computer box. No, he's not technically being kept in a box. That'd just be mean. Right then. We're not going to use self-destruct. That doesn't really fit in with what we're trying to do here. Okay, a go duo. Ah. Well, Rock throw is a very upsetting move, isn't it? I would like to know the hit rate of that move. Then that would involve going back and watching the videos and watching every time I've tried the move. And I don't think anybody's got time for that. Okay. Oh wait, no, you didn't faint. I'll use another rock throw. As Dig and Earthquake will not have any effect on Fero. Cool. Defeated Bird Keeper. Shot down in flames. No, those were rocks. Is that... What? Lies. Well, I'm sad now. Right, fine. I'll go this way. Um, and you. You will be a good person to battle. My bird Pokemon should be ready for battle. Right, okay. Is there any reason they wouldn't be ready for battle? Have they been having a nap? Or something? 
thing to say. No, I will use a rock throw. The only real danger I think here is that I'm going to run out of rock throws. Not in this battle itself, but maybe... Hmm. Well, maybe if, if I keep missing, there's a chance that will happen. Certainly along the route, I will need more rocks to throw. I imagine that's what it is. Graveler only has 15 rocks that he can throw at a time. I mean, that kind of works logically for rock throw and why that has a limited um, PP. Doesn't quite work for... Self-destruct? I mean, surely, technically, ignoring the revive items, you should only really have one of those. Well, you could probably get halfway through a team just by constantly reviving gravel and getting him to explode. No, we're not ready yet. I wonder if anyone's actually done that. Like, used... Graveler. Right, this is a really confusing layout. What are you looking at? At the moment, I'm looking off into space to the left there. I wonder if anyone's actually used Graveler or Golem or Volt or Electro, whatever, or Coughlin and Weezing for that matter, in, in that way. You know, they've just sent him out, got him to explode, Revived him, got him to explode, used a uh, PP up or something. Seems easier to just, you know, do it the normal way. Anyway, he's level 39 now, which is nice. I'm glad my talk of his excessive death didn't uh, put him off too much. No, it's alright though, Graveler, you carry on doing your, your battle, and I'm just here discussing how viable a strategy getting you to explode repeatedly is. Not very nice, is it, really? Anyway, Charizard is the one who's having his level raised now. Oh, lovely. And I've defeated Biker. That's so what I'm going to do. I'm going to move Charizard up to the top of my team. And I'll battle you. The wind's blowing my way. Right, okay, that sounds fine. But if that's the case, I've just battled a guy with like coughings and but they'll be using smog. So if the wind's blowing your way, that's in that blow. You should be surrounded in smog right now, from the other battle. Which isn't a good thing, you know. It's... Right, okay, that's a Spearow down. Ah, Pidgey. I'll get rid of that one as well. Very good. Slash is quite a nice, powerful move. I like it. Ah, this is going to be a collection of Spearows and Pidgeys. Not quite sure why all the trainers tend to have one type of Pokemon. And the gym leaders as well, really. It seems odd that you'd focus entirely on one one type when it's fairly clear that somebody can come in with uh, you know, a type of a type advantage against it and really do damage to you. Seems seems strange. Anyway, that's uh, that match over. Defeated Bird Keeper. And the wind turned apparently. Right. If I go over this way. Shit. Not like this way. Back down here. Over here. You. I'll battle you now. You need to use TMs to teach good moves to Pokemon. Right. Fine. 
So he's got three Pokemon. Uh, Pidgey. Level 28, okay. Slightly more powerful than the Pidgeys we've just been battling. I've got a feeling if I go right after this battle, I'm just going to hit the back of a guy I've just fought. Which is a pain in the arse, really. Right, so that's the duo down. And a Pidgeotto. Well, I think I looked it up and Charizard can't actually learn fly, which is a pain. Oh, he's level 39, good. Right, okay. Not good enough, no, you were not. Now, next, I believe, will be... Well, Pikachu technically needs to get to level 39 as well, but he is damaged, so I will use Nidoking. And... Yes, just as I thought. Signal the poison thing, Charizard will do a decent thing and faint sooner or later. Right, okay, I can go across here. Right, there's a few more people I can... Over here. Train tips. Look to the left of that post. What post? Hello. I always go with bird Pokemon. Well, aren't you a special little flower? On a route filled with bird trainers and bird keepers, whatever, I don't care. The same thing. We use Thunderbolts. There we go, that's one down. Down he goes. I think it's going to be Spiro and Fero, is it? That was Spiro. And he's about to use Fero, yes! How could I have guessed? Oh, that's Fero down. Good stuff. Out of power. All oh, the birds are not bloody electric types. So, ah, I got a PP up. And what should I use that on? I'm going to use that on... Psychic for Haunter. So I feel like I'm going to run out of that quite a bit. I need to go across this. I, oh, I wanted to. My cute Pokemon wish to make your acquaintance. Right, okay, that's fine. Let's have a look. Who are her cute Pokemon? Because I wouldn't really consider Pidgey to be that cute, to be honest. I mean, Nino King, on the other hand, is adorable. He's such a sweet natured, rhino looking. Poison thing. Yes. Who, for some reason, has the ability to electrocute other Pokemon? I don't. I don't know. I don't understand. I don't question Nido King. I find it works better that way. There, there are so many things that Nido King does that I really would like answers on. Okay, that's a Pidgey down. And, oh, it's a Pidgeotto next. Okay. And if it wasn't for a Meowth, he's, he'd just be a bird trainer, wouldn't you? Wait. It's got a Meowth. Yes, I did. Yes, that's, that was fairly obvious. Um, it's got a Meowth. She's got... A load of Pidgeys, Pidgeotos. So I guess you could say that she's really put the cat among the Pidgeys. 
sorry. Ah, no. Poliwag. Might have a type advantage against Nido King. With his, his uh, half groundsness. Doesn't matter though, just Thunderbolt. Oh, he's level 39. Okay. Well, I would be using Gyarados now. But, you know, water types. There we go. That is Poliwag down. Now I shall use... No, not enough. Just now two Poliwag. What do you expect? But Gyarados, you're not going to serve for your Gyarados. You can try. I'd be very, very impressed if you could. North to Silence Bridge. Right, I'm going to battle you two over here first. Because you're there. No, I wanted to battle you, not play with you. What are you doing? A Rattata. Okay, oh, we'll just use Bite. I feel like I use Bite way too much with Gyarados, but... Yeah. And then he just got Surf, to be fair. You know what? I don't care. Type advantage or no type advantage. Doesn't matter. An 11 levels higher than the Pikachu. Shouldn't be an issue. I'm not sure if this is really going to get my Pokemon up that many levels, to be honest, but it, it, it's for completion's sake, it is nice. I'm a brute, apparently. Hello. Do you want a Pokemon with me? I've, I've, I'm not sure. I've never seen it used that way before. Anyway, I'm going to bite your Clefairy, and then I'm going to bite whatever thing comes out next. Unless it's got a weakness to... No, it's a Meowth, I'll just bite it. I won't, Gyarados will. I've done this, I've done that joke before. I know I have. Yes, it's over. 